This is Tank's Vlog for October 2nd, 2017. Wrapping up today in sports. Baseball season is over. Tomorrow we begin the postseason. But before we do, well, let's take a look at who should be taking home the hardware. If you want to get a more in-depth look at who I'm picking to win the uh, individual awards, take a link, click the link below. Unfortunately, Major League Baseball does not do the awards like the other leagues do. The NHL is the first to have an award show. Then the NFL, they've been doing it for about six, seven years now. NBA had their first award show. At least baseball, they have at the uh, week the awards come out. They have a special show each day on Major League Baseball Network. But that's going to come in November. But all everyone is making the vote now, so that's why I'm making these picks now. The picks will be up, and I'll probably review them again in November, but here's who I think should get the major awards. Manager of the Year National League, I picked Tori Lovello of the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, they completely reversed their record from last year, from 93 and uh, 69 and 93 to 93 and 69. In the American League, <clears throat> Paul Molitor, as the Twins, were the first team ever to lose 100 games one year and make the playoffs the next. Comeback Player of the Year, National League, Ryan Zimmerman. Total no-brainer there. I mean, his April was so incredible. People, I, I Most people thought his career was over, washed up, finished. But an incredible comeback year for Mr. Z in Washington. Comeback Player of the Year in the American League. There's no clear-cut favorite, but I'm taking CC Sabathia. Uh, 14 wins this year. Match almost match as many wins as he had the last three seasons combined. Uh, he, he's not the dominant pitcher he once was, but he was steady and a key part of the Yankees getting into the postseason this year. Rookie of the year, National League. Cody Bellinger, there's no one else close. 39 home runs. Uh, that incredible two-month stretch when he first came up. Uh, most ro home runs by a rookie in the National League. And the American League, the same. Aaron Judge, 52 home runs. First rookie to hit 50 home runs. Who else can you give it to? The Trevor Hoffman Award, which goes to the top reliever in the National League. I'm giving that to Kenley Jansen. In the American League, I'm giving the counterpart award, the Mariano Rivera Award, to Craig Krimble of the Boston Red Sox. The Hank Aaron Awards. I think you have to give it to the two top home run hitters. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton of the Miami Marlins, and, of course, Judge of the Yankees. The Cy Young Awards are a little wide open in National League this year. I like Clayton Kershaw. He had the most wins. He had the best ERA, and he missed a month. And he's the best pitcher in baseball. And in the American League, Corey Kluber. Indians had the best pitching staff when they went on that 22-game winning streak. It was pitching that drove him. And Corey Kluber led the uh, majors in wins, had the best ERA in the majors. Uh, I know uh, Chris Sale has the great strikeout numbers, but Kluber has the key numbers. Strikeouts are a dime a dozen. Everyone strikes out nowadays. And it's great he got 300 strikeouts, but Kluber's stats are more real to me. MVP awards are wide open in each league. I like Nolan Arenado of the Colorado Rockies in the National League. Diamondbacks have two people that you could argue. I mean, Paul Goldschmidt had a great year, and you could really make a case for Goldschmidt winning the uh, MVP. But J.D. Martinez, I think, steals his thunder. And uh, I think that's why Arenado slips by him. And the American League MVP, it's going to be the short and tall of it. You got the... Tallest player in Aaron Judge going against the shortest player, Jose Altuve. You can almost flip a coin into this one. But to me, I just love Judge's power numbers. I think that's why I think Aaron Judge should be the MVP. Be the third time that a rookie of the year won MVP. Tuesday is also going to be the first day of the wild card game. Got the American League wild card game on Tuesday. Got the National League wild card game on Wednesday. Tuesday, I like the Yankees. They own the Twins. They've always beat up on the Twins. 
and Irvin Santana is never won at the new Yankee Stadium. Irvin Santana is the top Twins pitcher. He's a big reason they got to the postseason. But I just don't see he I just if the Yankees lose that game, I will be shocked. And the nationally wild card, I'm going with the upset. I think the Rockies beat the Diamondbacks. I mean, their wild card game is a crapshoot. That's why it, it's so important to win the division now. And I like the Rockies. John Gray pitched great down the stretch. He's beat the Diamondbacks a couple times this year in Arizona. And uh, Carlos Gonzalez, who had a dreadful season most of the way, batted 377 in September. And he owns Zach Greinke. So, I have both these picks. Check them out below. Uh, for Monday night, Monday night game, very good game. Chiefs and Redskins. Uh, Chiefs are the last of the unbeatens. Uh, they won the game. Redskins continued their Monday night uh, frustration. 18 of 19 out. I mean, that's Met-like. I mean, the Redskins are what Mondays are to what the Mets are on Sundays. Uh, and for those betters, that must have felt like the miracle in the Meadowlands. I mean, if you're if you're if you bet the seven and the Chiefs and you're just sitting there, you're sitting there twenty twenty, and it's like, oh well, there goes that bet. I mean, so I bet you some people might have even ripped up their bet cards and their tickets, and all of a sudden, field goal would take the lead. Think the game's over, and the Redskins fumble the kickoff. Chiefs scoop score, and it's a miracle. You covered. I think that might have been the most dramatic cover I've ever seen. Huh. <sighs> As the Mets cleaned out their lockers today for the off season, I noticed Jacob Degrom cut his hair. Hopefully this isn't a Samson and Delilah situation, even though apparently it was uh, the haircut was given by Ray Ramirez's uh, girlfriend, Delilah Ramirez. Ooh. Not good. And Terry Collins is gone. So it's going to be interesting to see who replaces him. Ray Ramirez should be gone, though. Please, fire Ray Ramirez. Please. And sign some free agents. <sighs> Today's three stars are Alex Smith of the Chiefs, Kirk Cousins of the Redskins, and Travis Kelsey of the Chiefs. As that was the only real game going on today. Today's birthday shout-out goes to Dave Winfield, who turned 66, born on the same day Bobby Thompson hit his shot hurled around the world. And we take a look back 20 years ago to the first time the NHL played a game outside North America. They played a game in Japan between the Vancouver Canucks and at the time called the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. I'm glad they dropped that Mighty. That sounded kind of cheesy, you know. Uh, it was a two-game series. The two teams split. Canucks won the first game 3-2. to two. Ducks won the second 3-2. to two. So we take a look back at Barstool Sports and Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. It's now the Major League Baseball post preseason, NHL season starting soon, NFL season in the thick of things, NBA season starting in two weeks. Is there a better sports month in October? I tell you. Good day.